It's day one, right when everything began. We see the Abbott family during a little league baseball game in the small town of Millbrook, New York. The Abbott family and the other people at the game witness a strange object, resembling a meteorite hurtling towards Earth. Everyone, frightened, flees the game while Evelyn takes the children home and Lee goes with Reagan to get their truck. Lee goes to ask the police officer what's happening when an alien arrives and starts attacking everyone. Evelyn and the children also realize the aliens have arrived, and they flee in the car, but a bus is heading towards them. Reagan gets out of the car, and Lee goes to find her and they hide in a restaurant. A girl calls her mother. Another man starts praying. Although Lee covers his mouth, the alien passes in front of them. Then the girl's phone rings, and the alien starts attacking them. Lee and Reagan run away while Evelyn and the children hide and see Lee and Reagan running towards them. The police officer shoots the creature but the alien kills him, and so it begins. Welcome to Random Recaps. In this video, I am going to recap the movie. It's day 474. Evelyn and her children managed to survive the pack of aliens that came to attack them at the end of the first movie. Evelyn gives Marcus the shotgun to look for the baby's crib, and Reagan goes to find an amplifier to transmit the noise from her cochlear implant through a portable microphone since she has discovered that high-frequency audio feedback makes the aliens vulnerable. With their house destroyed, Evelyn and her children look for another place to live. They enter an area where they fall into a noise-making trap. Evelyn and the children run away while someone points a gun at them. Marcus falls into a bear trap and starts screaming, causing the baby to scream too. Reagan locks the baby up. Marcus can't stop screaming. This attracts an alien, but Reagan manages to stun it with the amplifier and Evelyn kills it. While running, a man helps them hide while the alien continues to chase them. The man takes them to a soundproof underground place. Evelyn realizes the man is an old friend named Emmett. Although Emmett tells them they can't stay and that he can't help them, Evelyn shows him she has a baby, Please. then helps Marcus with his foot wound. Reagan puts headphones on him to listen to the radio. Emmett asks how the amplifier works, although Evelyn doesn't even know. Emmett tells Evelyn he recently lost his family. Evelyn says Lee always lit a bonfire for others to see. Emmett says he saw the bonfire but never wanted to go because this world has turned people into cruel people. Marcus hears the song Beyond the Sea on the radio. Emmett says he's heard it too since it's been broadcast for four months. The family gets excited, believing there are more survivors, but Emmett says there's nothing more. That night, Reagan wakes Marcus up. They both go into the soundproof place and Reagan tells Marcus that the radio broadcast wasn't just a song. Reagan theorizes it's a signal showing a place, an island nearby a day's journey southeast following the train tracks. Reagan says if she can reach the radio tower on the island where the song is broadcast, the high-frequency noise from her hearing aid can be transmitted so other survivors can use the signal as a weapon. Marcus doesn't want Reagan to go alone and asks her not to. Although Reagan bravely wants to try going alone, she leaves the next day. Evelyn asks Emmett to go find Reagan. Please go find her. Reagan ventures out with the shotgun and the amplifier. While trying to grab a first aid kit, Reagan makes noise, causing an alien to attack her. She activates the amplifier to stun the alien. She then shoots it, though not very accurately. She tries to reload the gun, but Emmett arrives to save her. And they hide. Emmett tells her they need to go back, but realizes Reagan is deaf. Reagan tells him to articulate the words. Reagan says she doesn't want to go back. Emmett insists on leaving, but Reagan convinces him to complete her mission. Evelyn realizes they are running out of oxygen. 
Reagan falls asleep and realizes Emmett left her alone, with nothing to defend herself. She starts to cry, but Emmett returns, saying he found a boat. Meanwhile, Evelyn leaves Marcus in charge of the baby, and she goes to look for medical supplies. Marcus gets scared because he doesn't want to be alone, but his mom calms him down and makes him understand she has to go. Evelyn goes to the graves of her deceased son and now Lee too. Meanwhile, Emmett and Reagan head to the boat to go to the island. Night falls and Marcus locks the baby up to go investigate. Reagan and Emmett arrive at a port to embark towards the island. Evelyn finds the oxygen tanks for her baby. Reagan and Emmett find a girl alone on the dock, but it's a trap. Meanwhile, Marcus finds the corpse of Emmett's wife and gets scared. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bunch of people come out on the dock. Marcus, frightened, goes back into the hideout. He hears the aliens coming and accidentally gets locked in the airtight compartment with his brother. Evelyn returns to the hideout. Marcus and his brother are running out of oxygen and Marcus realizes they are trapped. Evelyn hears the noise of the alien and runs to save her children. People start stealing everything from Reagan and Emmett. Marcus grabs some oxygen from the baby, but then Evelyn makes noise so the creature comes out. The people take Reagan, and Emmett signals her to jump into the water. Evelyn sets the alien on fire, but it doesn't die. Emmett makes noise, causing an alien to come and attack everyone. The fire activates the sprinkler system, keeping Evelyn safe. Meanwhile, Marcus holds on as long as he can. Emmett has a rope tied around his neck, unable to escape. Evelyn reaches the airtight compartment and finds Marcus unconscious, but he wakes up. Emmett manages to escape the rope and watches as the aliens kill everyone, with one jumping into the water after him. Evelyn locks herself in with the children. Emmett realizes the aliens can't swim whoa, 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 whoa. and saves Reagan's implant. Reagan and Emmett reach the island and head to some houses. They find a survivor camp. The survivors welcome them and give them food. Emmett tells one of the survivors that Reagan figured out how to reach the island. The survivor tells Emmett that when people found out the aliens couldn't swim, People went crazy trying to get on boats, so only a few managed to escape. After that, Emmett gives the implant back to Reagan and tells her that they will help them put the sound on the radio. Emmett apologizes to Reagan for doubting her. I'm sorry. At dawn, Emmett cries, remembering his wife's death. On the beach, Emmett realizes an alien has arrived on the island. We're screwed, okay? okay. We're screwed. Emmett runs to warn everyone but it's too late as the alien starts massacring everyone. The survivor hides the children in a closet while he, Emmett, and Reagan try to lure the alien into a car. They drive it towards the radio station. When they arrive, the man thinks the alien has left, but the alien grabs and kills the man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Evelyn, Marcus, and the baby remain locked in, holding on with the oxygen. Reagan and Emmett try not to be caught by the alien that is searching for them. Evelyn opens the door and checks if the alien is there. Reagan tries to enter the radio studio to play the sound. Upon exiting, Evelyn realizes the alien is still there. Reagan makes noise when opening the door. Evelyn runs to hide. Emmett tries to save Reagan. The alien doesn't let Evelyn close the door and tries to kill them. Reagan turns on her implant to stun the alien. She turns on the radio. The alien injures Evelyn. Reagan puts her implant on the microphone, broadcasting to everyone listening. Marcus realizes this and manages to stun the alien with the radio. Reagan grabs a pipe and Marcus grabs the gun. Reagan beats the alien to death. and Marcus stuns the alien until it dies, without needing to shoot it. Their mother is happy they are safe, and Reagan is happy she killed it. And that's how the movie ends.